Today I will be showing off some PowerShell that is capable of pulling in three API sources for IP threat intel, also hostname information. Anyway, let's get started here. I'm going to go ahead and call them to, uh, to launch an example of what we will be doing. So I should have an IP address in my clipboard. I do, and I will go ahead and smash enter. Three jobs kick off, and within just mo a moment, we see two IP threat scores. One is from Auth0, and one is from Abuse IPDB. So we have two threat scores, and we also got hostname information and all, all that stuff. Uh, we also have the AS number. <clears throat> but anyway, the cool part about this is that it's all free API stuff. There's nothing, nothing really to it other than registering, and we can do that. So uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at the IP no keys, and I am going to start going down. This part all right here is for the PowerShell uh, jobs to all load up into memory, so that way it's all done at the same time. Essentially, it's asynchronous calls in a way, I do believe. Um, so that way you, you have three, three processes kicked off at the same time to get your information back from the APIs. But anyway, really quick, we're just looking at the calls here. And you can see we're doing the start job in process. That's to make use of that. Um, and then we get the results and, and we write it out. So we're waiting for the job to finish for Auth0, IPDB, and IP info. And as we're going down the list, uh, you know, if they all finish fast, then it gets done with them all. If one is too low, then you know it's going to hold up for it. But anyway, if all three of them are quick, it just goes boom, 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 done. And then we select the ID based on what we named the job and we get the information back. We, we receive the job. And then we write out the score and figure out what risk, uh, you know, what risk we're willing to accept. And then we could either blacklist, right, ban, ban someone or put them on a whitelist to not waste our API calls. And I will post this up so that way anyone can have it if they want it to make use of it in a project. You could also, um, you know, automate this so that way it's like, you know, when someone loads or connects to a server, uh, that way it just kind of auto kicks us off. You, you could do this in PHP as well or Python or whatever you want. I just, I chose to do it in PowerShell just for fun. <laughs>